open up your MTT and we're going to use uh, ratios in order to do dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is what you use when you are converting rates. So the first problem that we're going to do is 18 miles in one hour and we want to know how many feet you would go in one second. So when you set up dimensional analysis you're going to write the problem that they give you so you're going to put 18 miles in one hour times with a line times with a line equals and a line and you're going to set up every dimensional analysis problem exactly the same way now what we're going to do is we're going to take the first measurement that we're given miles and that's going to be down in the denominator now in order to figure out what's in the numerator of that ratio we need to look at what we're converting to so we're going to go over to our answer and we're going to put in feet and we're going to put in seconds now if I'm comparing miles I can compare feet and miles so I'm going to go ahead and put the feet in there and then I'm going to go back to my problem where it has one hour and I'm going to put my H on the top here and go back and look at my answer which is seconds and I can compare seconds to hours so now I know where all of the labels fit now I need to ask myself what do I know about feet and miles well I know there's 5,280 feet in one mile and what do I know about hours and seconds well I know there's 60 seconds in a minute and there's 60 minutes in an hour so if I multiply 60 times 60 I'm gonna get 3,600 seconds in one hour now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna multiply across but before I multiply across what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross cancel out the matching measurements so you'll notice that the miles both cancel out here and the hours both cancel out here which leaves me feet on the top which is what I'm looking for and seconds on the bottom which is what I'm looking for so now I'm going to go ahead and just multiply the numbers that are left so if I multiply 18 times 5280 times 1 I'm gonna get 95040 and if I multiply 1 times 1 times 3,600, I'm going to get 3,600. Now I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to divide 95,040 by 3,600. When I do that division problem, I'm going to get 26.4 feet in one second. All right, let's do another one. If something fills up 32 centimeters in one second, then we want to know how many meters would be filled in a minute. So again, we're going to go ahead and set up our ratios to multiply. So we're going to do 36 centimeters over one second times line times line equals line. We're going to go ahead and put in the measurements that were converting to so this is going to be meters and this is going to be minutes we start over here with our 36 centimeters so that means the centimeters has to go down in the denominator we come over and look at our answer and we'll notice that meters and centimeters are two measurements that we can compare then we're going to look at our seconds our seconds has to go up in the numerator and we can look at our answer and we'll notice that we can compare seconds to minutes so now we have our labels in. Now we need to ask ourselves, what do I know about meters and centimeters? Well, there's 100 centimeters in one meter, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. So before I do any multiplying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out the matching measurements. So I'm going to cancel out the centimeters, and I'm going to cancel out the seconds that leaves me meters which is what my answer is in and minutes which is what my answer is in so I'm looking good there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some multiplying I'm going to multiply 36 times 1 times 60 
and I'm going to get 1920. Then I'm going to multiply 1 times 100 times 1, and I'm going to get 100. Now I'm going to divide 1920 by 100, and I'm going to get 19.2 meters in one minute. And that's how you do dimensional analysis.